here we are with our 1979 Apollo 25. You can see, while not new, it certainly is in functional condition. I would say the vessel itself is in fair shape. There are some things that need to be repaired that aren't functioning. We'll get that in the detail. As far as the hull goes, it's large and in charge. OMC 230s driving twin OMC 800 stern drives. I want to estimate 50 hours that he's put on them since he had them rebuilt. Owner's had the vessel now going on six years. Trim tabs. A lot of freeboard. Here, this part of the hull appears to be perhaps some kind of a repair. It was done before the owner, current owner, had it. Not uh, been part of any of that. Now, there are some big bunks that go on this vessel that you will also see documented. There is a spotlight, but it hasn't been used in a while. It needs to be verified that it works. The horn has a short in it. Um, stereo also has a short in it. It needs some electrical work. And there's a CB as well as a fish finder. Don't know about any of the windshield wipers. The alcohol stove and the refrigerator also need to be verified. And Refrigerator is not, reefer is not in uh, functioning condition. But the rest of it is functional. There it is. Our 1979 Apollo 25. All right, here we are, starboard aft on our 1979 Apollo. I'm about to step into the cabin here. As you can see, tremendous freeboard and it's uh, large on the interior. Holstery is in fairly good condition actually. It's just a little bit of uh, dust and dirt, that sort of thing. Step aboard. All right, here we are aft on the transom. Looks like a live well opportunity. Got uh, gunnel storage, both port and starboard. Looks like there's storage probably underneath. Oh, yeah, this is down to the engine compartment, which we'll get to in a minute. Moving around, got back to back seats, as you can see, with the adjustment lever in order to lay them out right there. And over to port side, same thing. As we move forward, same thing here. Just a little bit of dust and accumulation from being outside. A little sunbeat, but uh, carpet entirely intact. And uh, seats have some fading spotting. We can zoom in on that. The sun. There you go. Looking aft, you can see my notebook, but uh, you can see the beam on this thing is very, very large. And then we'll come back to the helm here. Enclosure stereo. The 
well as you imagine. Both sets of controls, throttle, and then gauges. Decking was removed up here in a big horseshoe shape all the way around. And then replaced, re glassed. Yeah, the decking replaced and then re glassed underneath the carpet. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, got it. Attachable face on the stereo. Moving forward, we'll zoom out a little bit. Open up the door and we'll look in. Our forward cabin, first port side. You can see all of it is, uh, at least in appearance, uh, vintage and original. This is um, actually a uh, like a fur that's been installed as a headliner. And it's complete, as you can see. And then very large forward cabin, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay, not only does the table come up, but here uh, we have the ability to put in the full sleeper on the V-berth. Uh, refrigerator not working at this point. Don't know what's wrong with it, it hasn't uh, been uh, trouble shot. This is an alcohol stove, as you can see, it slid to the forward here of the cabinet with a cutting board on top. You can just slide it right back, and now you have the sink. Uh, the alcohol stove has not been used either, so we don't know the condition of it. And then your panel here. Okay. Water tank has not been used on this either in the time that this owner has had it. But it, uh, you'll see in the photos it resides here up in the nose of the boat. Okay, back around now. All right. Yeah, I gotta adjust that. It's well. What we'll do is we'll go here into the head. And uh, here you go. You can see. And then here, the snap in vinyl covers the back of the helm and then a portal. the engine compartment, starting port side. The batteries are out at the moment, they're just in the garage. They're brand new. These were rebuilt. Seller estimates 50 hours ago. Yeah. And uh, had them board 20 over when he had them rebuilt by shop. We're looking at twin OMC 230s, as you can see. Here we are, uh, center midship, just in front of the engines on our 79 Apollo. And this is a fuel cell here. Here is the secondary, or rather first uh, primary filter for the fuel. There is a second one on each of the OMC 230s that power this vessel. Zoom in and get a look at the bilge while we're here. Looks like there's some stuff down there. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to come over here. Right, this compartment. storage underneath both of the back-to-backs. I forgot to vacuum them. <laughs> and that's the back-to-back. -back. 
note here on the step is if you lift it, you can see down in, this is bilge pump access. Bag uh, that the uh, toilet connects to, pumps in, and then you can pump it out from the side. All right, go ahead. Here's the actual pump. And here is the pump itself. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, got your full yeah, flare so. gun set up. Yeah. Watertight container. We've got some orange life vests here. Also, oh, there's a four vest in this one. In the blue bag, there's a four. There's a throwable PFD right there underneath the bag. And then moving over, you have uh, some items that go with, of course, your fire extinguisher. T-coil. T-coil. Bilge cleaner. Um, uh, gear lube. Light. Got it. Uh, extra switches, which were extremely hard to find. Okay. I had to go to the manufacturer to get them only. Ah. Uh, so, of course, some other switches. Uh, wax. I have the full cord pump for changing the oil. It's actually sitting here. And then we've got a ring to throw. Pull. I have a boat hook here. Stern drive book. There's the. Fenders here. Base to the oh. stereo. Okay. Uh, I have one solar panel. Haven't hooked it up yet. Shore power. Shore power, and then the anchor. Okay, got it.